Hey, what's up everybody? It's Carrie back again for another DVD update. Okay, so I want to give a real quick thank you to a guy by the name of DVDs Nuts. I'm pretty sure that's how you say his YouTube name. He watched my videos. He actually watched my videos on my other channel, Direct Two Views, but I forgot to thank him in my last DVD update. So I'm going to thank him now, and I'm going to put a link in the description down below. Go check out his channel, see what he's got. He's got some cool stuff. Um, so he watched my videos, and he saw that I had Drag Me to Hell without the slipcover, and he, uh, I had mentioned that I, I wanted it, and he had it. So... He basically messaged me and he sent me the Drag Me to Hell slip for the Blu-ray, which I'm very, very glad to find because I actually haven't really seen it anywhere. You know, I ordered it on Amazon, didn't come with it. So I'm very glad to have that. It's in good condition. It's awesome. So thank you very much for that. So I got a pretty decent size, not really big, but a decent size update. I feel like I'm missing some stuff. I'm not very organized with my... DVD collection updates. I kind of throw stuff randomly, but I got some box sets and I got some DVDs and I have some Blu-rays and I have one thing that um, I just want to add to the update too. One awesome thing that I got. I don't order off eBay. I've never ordered off eBay. I check stuff out on eBay all the time and I usually go to Amazon and order it because I have Prime so I can get free two-day shipping or it's usually cheaper or I just like Amazon. I trust them, but I saw this and um, I had to get this. It's really cool. It's an autograph, but just the way it is positioned and the picture is awesome. So um, anyway, it's an autograph picture of Janet Lee from Psycho with the uh, the shower scene there. And just the way the signature is on there and the picture, it's really cool. So I saw this and I was like, okay, that's awesome. I really want to get it. It comes with a cert certificate of authenticity. Um, so that's really awesome, a little collection thing there. And uh, yeah, that'll look cool. So I'm gonna get that framed and everything. Anyway, so on to the Blu-rays. The first Blu-ray I got was Disturbia. And uh, I've wanted to watch this movie again for a while and I wanted to show it to my friends, so I picked it up on Blu-ray. It does not look much different on Blu-ray. Um, it's got a cool disc art there, but it's not much different. It, not much better quality than DVD, but it's still cool to have on Blu-ray. It was pretty cheap, I ordered on Amazon, so. Next thing I got was the new Thing movie, the prequel. Uh, it's got the cool slip cover there on Blu-ray. And the thing that bothers me most about that, though, is it's got a really awesome cover. But then there's, like, blue just kind of, like, takes away from the awesome atmosphere of the cover. It's awesome. And on the side is blue, too. It just it doesn't, I don't know, I want it to be all, like, black. It would look much cooler, in my opinion. So I think that's still looks cool, though. So... And then the last Blu-ray I got, I was waiting on for a while. Um, and when we, when Scream 4 was released here, basically the DVD came out with a slip cover, and it's really cool. But uh, the Blu-ray did not have one, and I'd like to have one on Blu-ray and DVD. So I just went on Amazon.ca and ordered it from Canada, and they have a Blu-ray with a really cool slip cover. It's very similar to ours. It's a little different. But the um, the back is what's really awesome. Their back is just like really cool. And actually the front's a little bit, it's like kind of shiny. It's a little different. And then the actual disc art front, is, or I mean uh, cover front is a little different because ours, the DVD is different. And then the back is also different on the Blu-ray. And the disc art is also different. It's a little different than ours. I think I like our disc art better, but... I like the uh, the really really cool Blu-ray slip cover, so um, that's a really cool little addition to the collection. And there's a lot of really cool actually just artwork on the Scream 4 box sets, and there's some steel books out there that I'm gonna eventually get, and some different cool artwork on that stuff. So eventually I'll get to that stuff, but I'm just glad to have that right now. It came in good condition and everything, so I'm happy to have that. And then the next uh, thing I got was a DVD. Um, after watching Innkeepers, I've been getting into, well, I was already into Ty West, I liked him, but I wanted to see the rest of his stuff, and he doesn't have, unfortunately, he doesn't have too much stuff, but I went and ordered, uh, The Roost, which is his first movie, um, his first full-length movie, I do believe, and it's not great, it's, um, very slow, and it's definitely, like, low budget, but it's cool, I, I did, fell asleep, I didn't finish it, but it's still cool to have, Ty West getting his roots set, you know, um, I love Ty West, so that's, it. you know, it's awesome, awesome to have anyway, so, 
And the next thing I got, I've been wanting to watch for a long time, but I just, I don't know, for some reason I think I was afraid it was going to suck, so I never watched it. But I love 90s horror movies, I love 90s teen horror movies, and The Faculty is a 90s teen horror movie, and Kevin Williamson wrote it, so, or wrote the screenplay for it anyway. So I don't know why it took me so long to check this out, but I finally checked it out and it was awesome. Different than I expected to be more sci-fi, like campy, cheesy horror, but it was awesome, so that's cool. So the next DVD I got was at um, Walmart for 10 bucks, and I was thinking about checking out this movie, but uh, I decided against it, and then I saw it there, and it was like 10 bucks. Okay, The Dead on DVD, not on Blu-ray. I didn't want to get the Blu-ray because this was cheaper, and it comes with the cool slipcover, and I just wanted to check out the movie. So the unique thing about this new zombie movie is that it's set in Africa, so it's definitely unique. It's not great. Um, it's slow-paced, and... The acting is kind of bad, but it is unique. It's worth a shot to check out to see the return of the George A. Romero zombies. Slow moving, slow paced zombies. Some cool effects. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty cool movie. It's worth checking out if you can if you can handle a slow zombie movie. So the last DVD I got was Piranha for five bucks in the Walmart bin. I didn't have it on DVD, and the sequel's coming out. I did like this movie. Um, I still want to see the sequel, even though the trailer just looks ridiculous. Hopefully it'll be a fun time. So anyway, on to the last two things I got, two box sets. Um, I got these at my work. We got them in and I jumped on them. The uh, first one's the Exorcist Anthology box set. I didn't have this and it was 10 bucks. So I was like, okay, that's awesome. I want to get that. But as soon as I saw this last one, I got super excited because it's just really cool. I love the movie anyway. It's the I Am Legend box set, the um, Ultimate Collector's Edition box set. So... That's awesome, looks awesome, and I checked it out on Amazon, and it would have been the cheapest I could have possibly get was like used, 10 bucks plus shipping, so I got a pretty good deal on that, and it was brand new, so, alright, so that's everything for this update, thanks for watching everybody, please rate, comment, and subscribe.